Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. What we have for you today is not just a special car but a piece of automotive and Corvette history. You are looking at the last C6 ZR1 that was produced off the line for 2013 and the last of the generation. VIN number 482. That is the last one for 2013. There were under 4,700 total C6 ZR1s over a five year production run which began in 2009 and then concluded with this car in 2013. Night Race Blue, one of 54 cars painted in Night Race Blue. That is a one year only color for the C6 ZR1s, only offered in 2013. Uh, stunning color, depending on the light and how you're looking at it, it may look black, may look blue, a little bit more metallic under the light. Uh, car I really fell in love with when I saw it in person. Pictures really don't justify how beautiful this car is, especially with the silver anniversary stripes. Personally, I am not a fan of the stripes on Corvettes, but this car, the way it's specced and done, absolutely gorgeous. You have the ZR1 performance option on this car as well. So you'll notice that the wheels on this are different than what most are probably used to seeing with the chrome wheels. Here you have the all black. Along with that, you'll also have the Jake performance intake under the hood. Uh, another part that is included an option with that ZR1 performance option. As you go inside, you have the two-tone interior with the tan and black. And this car only has 55 miles on the odometer. Uh, the LS9 is you know, significant with the C6 ZR1 giving you 638 horsepower under the hood. Most people will notice that it is a clear hood in the middle to show that supercharged engine. Another iconic kind of look and aesthetic feature for the C6 ZR1. So what I really, really like about this car is it wasn't good enough just to have the last C6 ZR1 that was made. He wanted to take it a step further and have a unique spec and option car and he did just that by the way he optioned it with the colors, night race blue and the silver anniversary stripes on a car that is not an anniversary car. So he definitely had some pull at Corvette to get the car optioned the way that he did. So we are, like I said, super excited. And I hope you guys enjoy watching this as we enjoy owning this car and the piece of history. And we're going to take you through everything that we have in the spec on this 2013 ZR1. So this particular ZR1 is a true collector's dream, finished in the stunning night race blue and striking silver anniversary stripes. Now what makes this ZR1 even more extraordinary is that it represents the final iteration of the legendary C6 Corvette generation. The C6 has left an incredible mark on the automotive world, known for its powerful performance, sleek design, and raw driving experience. And this ZR1 stands as the pinnacle of that era. As we take a closer, closer look, you'll notice the unique two-tone interior that perfectly complements the exterior. It's a combination that was only available for this specific model year, making even it more exclusive. Every time you step inside, you're reminded of the craftsmanship and attention to detail that went into creating such a masterpiece. Which is 55 miles on the odometer, this ZR1 is practically brand new, even 10 years later. It was part of a great collection and we were fortunate enough to acquire it recently. Owning a car like this is truly a once in a lifetime opportunity and is like owning a piece of automotive history. And I'm excited to share that story with all of you. Behind the wheel, the ZR1 delivers an adrenaline pumping experience. The heart of this beast is supercharged V8 engine that produces a jaw dropping 638 horsepower and exhilarating acceleration. It's a reminder of the engineering prowess and relentless pursuit of performance that Corvette is known for. Not only does this ZR1 embody incredible performance and design, but it also represents the end of an era. The C6 generation has paved the way for the iconic Corvettes we know and love today. It's a chapter in Corvette's history that will forever be cherished by enthusiasts worldwide. And it's important to note that now we are eight generations into the Corvette and as many of you know, the ZR1 was only built for a handful of those. For me, this ZR1 is more than just a car. It's a symbol of passion and craftsmanship. 
It's a reminder of the legacy of the C6 generation and its impact on the automotive industry. We are incredibly privileged to have this opportunity to showcase such an exceptional vehicle. Some of the specs, as you guys know, the C6 ZR1 is equipped with the supercharged 6.2 liter V8 engine, commonly known as the LS9. Produces a staggering 638 horsepower and 604 pounds foot of torque. The engine was hand built and known for its high performance capabilities. It can accelerate from zero to 60 around 3.4 seconds with the top speed of 205 miles per hour, making it one of the fastest production Corvettes of its time. The C6 ZR1 only comes with a six speed manual transmission, offering an engaging and immersive driving experience. The manual gearbox allows drivers to have full control over gear shifts providing connection between the driver and the car. As we mentioned on the exterior, the night race blue color is specific to the 2013 model year and adds a unique touch to the ZR1's aggressive and aerodynamic body style. The silver anniversary stripes further enhance the car's appearance, paying homage to the Corvette's rich heritage. In terms of collectability, being the last ZR1 of the C6 generation, this car holds a special place in Corvette's history. Its limited production numbers, striking color combination, and exceptional performance make it highly sought after by collectors and enthusiasts worldwide. So the ZR1 seemed like a flash in the pan when production ceased in 1995 with no further examples planned, until 14 years later when it was reincarnated for the C6 model in 2009. Much as the C3 ZR1 could demonstrate that an old dog could be taught new tricks by slapping a pair of cams atop each cylinder head, the new C6 showed that a pushrod V8 could be turned to bring Italian and German sports cars to heel with the addition of a great big supercharger. Sitting atop the 370 cubic, 376 cubic inch V8 and visible through a window on the hood through the blower, at it more than 50% horsepower, bringing the total to a face melting 638 ponies. Spinning a set of 335 by 25 Michelins out the back and 285 by 30s on 19s up front, the extra go was abetted by ceramic brakes the size of pizzas. Uprated suspension and more aggressive tuning all around. Produced from 2009 to 2013 and costing $105,000 before any options, a total of 4,695 C6 ZR1s rolled off the line in Bowling Green before production ceased with the introduction of the new C7. We would not see the C7 ZR1 until 2019, a one-year only model. Rolling off the factory in Bowling Green on February 28, 2013, this Corvette was the last C6 to roll off the line. Signed inside the center console by Dave Tatman, plant manager of Corvette Assembly, as the last ZR1, it was invoiced to a Chevrolet dealership in Waterbury, Connecticut, and delivered new in March of 2013. While nearly 90% of buyers opted for the screen-laden leather-wrapped dash, this example is one of only 476 ZR1s that were specific without the 3ZR package. While skipping out on the nav system, the option for the ZR1 high performance package at a cost of $1,495 was selected along with the ZR1 car cover. Finished in night race blue metallic, a one year only color with silver stripes over cashmere leather, a particularly rare pair for colors. The former found on only 54 ZR1s total and the latter on only 18 2013 ZR1s. Carefully stored and maintained, this blue rocket has only accumulated 55 miles. Complete with its covers, handbooks, copies of the window sticker, along with the original build records and more, this as new, last off the line ZR1 is ready for its new home in our collection. So guys, that is a conclusion and wrap on our 2013 ZR1, last one ever produced for the C6 generation. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as we did. And if you did, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe, and uh, be on the lookout for what we have coming your way.